Dexter Strickland didn't plan on his final year at the University of North Carolina panning out the way it has. He certainly didn't plan on tearing his ACL last year, watching games from the bench, simply wondering what if. He didn't plan on being UNC's lone senior this year on such a young squad. It hasn't always been easy not having the guys he thought he would have around him on his last go around, learning to trust his knee again and rediscovering that game that he once had. But through all the struggles and setbacks, Dexter Strickland has fought and will continue to fight because, planned or not, this is his final year at the University of North Carolina. You said before the season started that you were almost 100%. Mm -hmm. Now that you've had you know, most of the season go by, you gauge that a little differently like are you 100 percent now as opposed to back then or um i think i think i am i think i am 100 percent um and i just based that on you know the mental process i know there was nothing wrong with my knee like structure wise yeah. you know my knee was intact everything was fine but um you know just far as like uh you know trusting it you know um like i just said like the mental stage is the toughest part you know um that you go through uh through the injury and um at that time in the beginning of the season i wasn't sure if i can you know move as fast as i normally mm -hmm. do and that kind of hurt my game um you know working out and stuff like that that kind of hurt me a lot but um you know as the games went on you know i you know just started to like not care you know if yeah. you not care anymore and it kind of you know showed off being more aggressive and uh you know catching you know uh fast break dunks and stuff like that so it gave me more confidence in my knee did you feel like you had to alter your game at the beginning of the season because oh, yeah. you were kind of like, oh, I don't want to Absolutely, too far. absolutely. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I, I played pickup, um, believe it or not, I was like a jump shooter. I didn't drive to the rack at all. Uh, I was just shooting. And um, I think the guys who came back, I think it was uh, Kendall and John, uh, we're, we're impressed because, you know, everybody knows that's not my, I'm not a shooter, that's not my game. But I had to adjust to it, you know, because I, I couldn't move as fast on offense and I couldn't move as fast on defense. So I couldn't play, um, I couldn't play defense to my ability. And um, I think Roy, uh, Coach uh, Williams himself uh, mentioned it as far as him saying, you know, he hasn't seen the old Dexter, you know, and uh, I don't think he can say that, say that now, uh, you know, good to say, but yeah, well, uh, during the season, the, in the first half, um, I didn't have that much confidence in my knee and I wasn't able to move as fast as I wanted to. So, Are there ever times when you go for like a cut or like a move and you still don't trust it and then you take yeah. the jump shot or no? Is it just... I, I can't lie, it is. Yeah. It is. And that's the toughest part. And that's what I'm struggling with right, with right now. Um, you know, just simple moves as far as a Euro step, which I injured my knee on doing a Euro step. And uh, that's one of my go-to moves in a fast break or just in traffic in general. And um, there's, you know, there's been times in the game where I just hesitate on doing that and, you know, uh, that resulted to me not getting an easy layup or, you know, resulted to something else. But um, that's just, uh, you know, uh, another process that's going on and me, uh, me having to get better on. So I want to talk about this team because okay. preseason everyone talked about how young they were going to be and how you guys were going to have to focus on the young guys and then maturing. Mm -hmm. How has that been for you, being the lone senior, having, you know, basically you and Reggie mm -hmm. being the only guys that got a lot of playing time last year come back? Mm -hmm. So did you have to alter your game to fit this young team and maybe complement them more in any way? Um, I don't think I had to alter my game. Um, well, kind of, because I, I, it forced me to be more aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, as far as me being a leader and them looking up to me on, you know, how the game should be played and how, you know, the simple things like responding to coach and stuff like that. Um, I felt I had to alter it, alter it in that way, you know, uh, just being more aggressive, I think. And um, I, but I think they're coming along. I think Marcus, as you can, you guys saw last game, he hit big shots. You know, his confidence, him just having that confidence. He's a great player, and um, he's a great shooter also. And you guys got a, you know, a chance to see that a little bit. And uh, but Bryce is coming along. Uh, Joel, he's coming back from his little concussion. Uh, he's doing well, and uh, JP is playing well. So everybody is just, we're, we're, I think we're growing together. Um, I think I put it on my Twitter the other day that I like I like how the team is growing and uh, we're just playing, you know, together and, you know, just playing better. Everybody likes each other. Uh, so that team chemistry is there. And I think that's important, uh, you know, for us to have because, you know, it results to us winning, playing better together and stuff like that. So as a senior, as the only senior, mm -hmm. is that weird? Is that what, OK, let me rephrase that. Is this what you expected your senior year uh, to be like? Absolutely just not. Just you chilling? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> not. Um, I didn't expect this at all, yeah. but it is what it is, and I'm glad. You know, I, I get a chance to graduate. Um, that's a big accomplish for, accomplishment for me, um, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. You know, I know Les supposed to be a senior, but you know, he redshirted and stuff like that. So um, I'm not lonely. You know, Les is, has, has been here with me the most. Um, Reggie is right there, 
And, um, you know, John leaving, uh, the twins leaving, you know, early. Um, but I don't, I don't feel lonely. I'm glad to be here. What was the hardest part for you this year? Uh, as far as the season or myself individually, like? Both. Just my knee. Just, just trusting my knee. Um, I felt like I, I, struggled in, I struggled in the beginning because, you know, I worked so much on my game, so much on my shot. Mm -hmm. I felt like when I played, I had to prove that. And I wasn't, you know, I, w I was making wrong decisions. I was shooting air balls and, you know, things that I'd never done before. And, you know, I, I kind of sat myself down and was like, you know, don't, don't play because you have to prove yourself to the fans or, you know, prove to somebody else that, you know, you can't shoot, or that you can shoot and stuff like that. Um, you know your game. You know, I'm, everybody knows I'm not a shooter, you know, but I, I can shoot, but I'm not a shooter. And uh, being in the games, I felt like I had to shoot this three or I had to take my guy off the dribble and shoot this. And that was hurting me. So I think the last, the last couple games, I've been, you know, being aggressive, getting to the rack, you know, not to brag, but I felt like my guy on defense has a hard time of uh, keeping me away from, you know, getting to the rack. So I've been taking advantage of that. And um, my game is slowly coming along. I know my jump shot is going to come along. I'm not, that's the least of my worries because I work out on it, you know, all the time. So, um, but, you know, as far as the season going, you know, I feel like earlier in the season, it's some games that we easily could have won. Um, we could have won the Butler game. Um, we just folded against them. I don't know why. Uh, Texas was horrible. Um, I felt like we could have won the Indiana game, could have won the Duke game. Um, you know, Had just lost. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, just like I just felt like just we made little mistakes that just cost us big time. Mm -hmm. And like just little mistakes, not getting back on transitions against uh, Cody Zeller. Um, just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I felt like uh, we just could have been a, a, a way better team than what we were. So. But it's getting better. Like I said, it's getting better. The season's not over. You know, um, hopefully we get in the tournament and, um, you know, just prove everybody wrong, that we're, we're a great team. We have uh, the great talent on our team to get, to get the job done. We just have to, you know, work at it. So.